if Facebook is is Mark Zuckerberg's passive income, then shit, I want that, nigga. So make the next Facebook. Say it with me, Matt, on three. One, two, three, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it is. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was okay. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice in my veins. I talk like a champion, like a champion. I'm so cold blooded. I'm so cold blooded. Which is crazy. Speaking of, here you go. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> I was going in on the transitions. Oh. Who is this man? Who is this guy? It's like I. It's like we we haven't been here for almost two years. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> but uh, speaking of uh, Stephen A. Smith, um, you know, as per usual, Ooh. I feel like yeah, exactly. At this point. I feel like we kind of talking about this man too much in a in a controversial light. Like Stephen A. Like what happened, bro? You used to be for the people. You really used to be for the people, but now I think you just for the check. But aside from that, them them Mickey Mouse checks be clearing heavy. <laughs> yeah, listen, payday <laughs> is every Thursday. Um, listen, 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 listen. You talked listen. about fucking Stephen A. and Brianna Stewart just wedged you to three pointers. So oh yeah, nah, I saw that. Even his voice out here <laughs> fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah so you know going taking the conversation into a little bit of baseball now uh I don't know if y'all heard but a couple of days ago Stephen A um was having a conversation with the media basically saying that uh he does not believe that uh Shohei Ohtani can be the face of baseball because of the language barrier that he presents. Hmm. That's the dumbest shit I heard in my life. I would concur. Because honestly and this is like the interesting part to me. So I think in Shohei's case, he, and this is like something that I had, that I had saw and looked up from before, the highest rated baseball, the 10 highest rated baseball games this season were all Angels games. And the fact that the Angels games are getting ratings like that, like, look, like, look however you want to look at it, whoever they're playing, whether they're playing the Yankees, whether they're playing whatever, cool. Shohei is the main attraction of the, of the, of the MLB right now mm-hmm. in, in, you look on MLB's page, they post this nigga once a day, as they fucking should, because he's making them bread. He's popularizing the sport. Mm-hmm. You don't see, like, and this is, like, the amazing thing about it, is that I don't think that for as what what Otani is doing, like, we don't even think we talk about it enough. Like, this man is, he is doing something in baseball that we have not seen since Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth has not touched the baseball since the 1920s. Since there was segregation. Yes. Damn, well, I mean, Babe Ruth was black, so hey, it is what it I is. He was Dominican. Dominican. Yeah, he's oh, Dominican. he's Dominican. Dominicans Dominican? are black. Oh, oh yeah, I it see, is. I see. Yes. No, but they're not. They're not black like they us. Know, they're not black <laughs> like us. Exactly. Indeed. So I'm saying, like, Baby Rodriguez. If for Stephen A to say something is stupid, like literal stupidity, that old tiny can't be the face of baseball. But it's fucking crazy. It's it's crazy. It's very Skip Bayless of him. Yes. It's very. I'm going back. Like I'm Skip. Literally talks about how he says things to get the biggest reaction. And that's very Skip Bayless of him, because like, it like like you said, it is complete bullshit, man. To try and say that Otani can't be the face because he doesn't speak English is ridiculous. On top of that, like, he does speak English. Apparently, he did something where he was speaking English. But I saw like one of the best tweets I saw about it was someone going, "Ah, yes, Stephen A. I can't wait for the all the NBA players in Japan to do their interviews in full Japanese." <laughs> like, oh man, I didn't realize that because you don't speak the language of the country you're currently in, that that just makes you, you, you can't be an ambassador for the game. That is, the, and that is like the little like point. Burn. Nigga, we all saw the last dance. Shit, Matt saw the last dance. You know what I'm saying? Did you? Oh no, Matt didn't see the last <laughs> dance. Sorry, 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 sorry. Cut that, cut that, cut that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but we saw the last dance. This nigga Michael Jordan was in Europe hooping. This nigga don't speak a lick of nothing but English. And niggas was, was, Celebrate this nigga. Speaks cash. That's it. <laughs> That's it. When they were doing that that whole European tour, that nigga wasn't translating nothing. That nigga was speaking English, collecting his check, popularizing the game, and that was that. And I feel that it's like a very U.S. thing of him, of being like, oh man, clearly everything revolves around us. Where it's like, there's a reason why mo- most tourists come here. Like, people in other countries are taught multiple languages, including English. You know right. what I mean? Um, but outside, of, like. Just getting back to the, the whole like issue at hand, like bro, like it doesn't even make sense. And then he had to put out a statement talking about, oh, it wasn't meant to be racist. 
Like, and that's fine if it wasn't meant to be racist, but like, dog, just think about how it comes out and the way it makes it seem. Like, you're There's... trying to say that the dude who's literally like, I can't tell you the last time people were excited about baseball. Right. Like, this is literally the type of shit that people have been wanting to do in video games forever. Right. You know, like, they, to the fact that in fucking MLB The Show, they make you start out as a two-way and you decide if you don't want to. Right. Right. It's it's insane. Otani's a bona fide star. Like he has the charisma. Superstar. He has those super in front of him. Yeah, that. absolutely. It's like superstar. Like he has everything you want. Like it's there's no denying it. To me, the face of the league right now, like I'll say up and coming, but like still what I would look at the face, like when I think of the MLB right now is him, Tatis, and Vlad. Yep. Acuna too. Yeah. Shout out oh, yeah. oh, prayers, prayers up to prayers, prayers, prayers up to Acuna too. Well, like to me, like those are the three and then if you think about ba- like if you go all right those are like the casuals then you think about all right more baseball fans and you throw DeGrom in there just because he's just right because DeGrom yeah. is unreal as yeah. well but like you know what I mean and out of those people like um obviously Tati's bilingual mm-hmm. I don't know how good Vlad's English is I'm not gonna hold you which is crazy because his pops like basically played in the league for yeah and I don't think but not but I don't think the other Vlad's English is that great either he got by. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he got he by. Got by. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And I think that's what Otani's going to do, and it's still going to be the face. Like, the trajectory he's on right now is fucking insane. This man is throwing 100 miles an hour in a game and then leading the league in home runs. Which is unreal. Like, bruh. He passed Hideki Masui's record for most home runs in the league before the halfway point. Favorite Yankee not named Jeter? Yes. Mm-hmm. Most home, Both, home runs by a Japanese-born by player. Jap- by, sorry, yeah, yeah. by a Japanese-born player, sorry. Before the halfway point, <laughs> once again, like, before the halfway point, this nigga crazy. has thirty-two home runs at the All Star break. That's I think they I think that's the second most since McGuire and Sammy Sosa was doing their whole. All right, who's gonna who's gonna pop more steroids this week? You know what I'm saying McGuire also did that in '99. So yeah, which is coincidentally um, yes. Well, that's next week, but yeah, it's amazing. No '98. Sorry. Oh, that's what you meant. Yes, okay. that, that is what I meant. Okay, cool. Thanks, John, for keeping us back on track. <laughs> But yeah, no, ba- I, and I say it a lot, and I say it to my friends, like, baseball really is in great hands, and the game is really, like, the young stars, it's like, oh, Tiny got it. You know what I'm saying? He has literally all the star power, but I, now, I, now just me playing devil's advocate, right? It's me looking at, the, looking at what Stephen A is trying to say. Okay, cool. Look at the previous faces of baseball. Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter. Okay, cool. Um, Barry Bonds, of course. Ken Griffey Jr., Hank Aaron. Um, the biggest players are always American, though. And, that, and to me, that and shows that's w- exactly like how much of American games have become more global because you even see it in the NBA, mm-hmm. like over the past couple of years, and players like Porzingis, players like Luca, who came into the league and kind of set it on fire. You know what I mean? Right. Um, especially like, bro, Luca's English his first year was bad, mm-hmm. like real bad. Like I saw the um, you just got announced as the two K thing, and I saw the video they put out, and like I was really thinking about how much improvement he's made. Right. It's still not great. But, like, it's improved. So that's one thing that, like, that's what stars do. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, but it just goes more into, like, a, the the game as a whole. Because before that, like, who was the biggest Japanese player? Ichiro, right? Ichiro. Like, I feel like there hasn't been a Japanese player with the reach, with that level of reach since Ichiro. And Ichiro, he was just really good. You know, aside the aside from the fact of you know he also played he played on Seattle. Seattle is like a historically bad franchise. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the angel he's Otani's on the Angels, which I mean, you know they won, they the won a ring in all four. MVP candidate. Yes, you know what I'm saying he plays in Los Angeles. It's a huge market. Like he's gonna let the Angels, regardless of what they do, they're gonna get TV time because of Otani. If Otani's pitching on a Sunday night, best believe. Like that game is probably gonna be in the rotation. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying? We fuck it. Me and Justin, we went to we went to the fucking Angels Yankees game a couple of weeks ago. I told this nigga, first at bat, Otani's gonna hit a home run. What did this nigga do, Justin? He uh he he hit a home run. <laughs> and, and and that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, this nigga is really that good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, Stephen A. That was just a that was just terrible, you know. I mean, I I ain't been in the media that long, but come on, dog. Like we gotta we gotta we gotta do better. I have thoughts. I like thoughts. Um, so from him though, you know what's funny is I think that Stephen A. was right for all the wrong reasons because who is the all right. Let's break it down, right? MLB puts on this facade and this fake thing. Like, they want the game to get younger. and They want to attract a younger audience, right? 
But really what they want to do is they want to just keep appeasing AARP Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah, and like all the, the Yeah, and all the old money of baseball and keep all the old ways of baseball because they're very anti-analytics and things like that, right? So he's right. Baseball really to its core doesn't want Shohei Otani, someone who does not speak English as his first language, as the face of baseball. They would much rather a guy like his teammate, Mike Trout. The problem is Mike Trout has the personality of a rubber glove. So we're <laughs> rubber got, glove is crazy. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to think of something. Was, so we're kind of left with this, right? And Shohei is he's got personality. He's literally like like we've been saying, he is the reincarnation of basically our generation of Babe Ruth, right? So Stephen A is is right for the wrong reasons. MLB doesn't want Shohei as their guy because they want the old money. Where whereas they should be doing, which everybody keeps yelling at them, yo, you gotta you gotta market these young guys, right? Shohei Tani has great marketability. Fernando Tatis, great marketability, right? The best players in the league right now do not speak English as their first language. Literally. Right? So you're gonna have to come to grips with this at some point. Either Someone that's of Japanese or Chinese descent, someone uh, that is Hispanic or Latino, is probably going to be the face of baseball for the next how many years, right? And even then, right, if it's not that, it might be someone who's black who baseball also probably doesn't want as their face, as their, their ideal face mm-hmm. of the great American pastime, right? Because you're right. You, you figure the Derek best. Shooter got boxed through the light skin. Yeah, he light skin, right? Aaron Judge, if he could stay healthy, would probably get by because he is also light skin. What about a guy like Mookie Betts? Right, I think we all I, Mookie Betts has probably been the best outfielder in the league for the past what two three years. Arguably the best player. Arguably the best player, mm-hmm. right? But never really hear much about. And he plays on the second biggest market team in the league, mm-hmm. in the Dodgers. And before that, was playing on what probably the third or fourth largest on the Red Sox. Yep. So look, baseball has a problem that only baseball can solve, right? It's not to say that Shohei Otani can't be the face of baseball, but Shohei Otani can be the face of baseball if baseball wants Shohei Otani to be the face of baseball. Mm. Nobody can fix this problem but the MLB. And will they? Who knows? Maybe the backlash from the Stephen A comment, right, maybe pushes them in the right direction. But look, at the end of the day, the game can only progress as much as the league and the sport wants it. That's exactly why the NBA is where it is and why it surpassed the MLB in popularity. Because the face of the league, let's be honest, in a few years could possibly be a Slovenian kid who wears number 77. And the nigga not even 25 that's yet. Lit. Like let, That's like, literally like, that's how I, I really feel like the, the way he's come on, it's very like Luca, and you're just hoping you that like everything Mavericks else comes. <laughs> no, like who was another? Smuggling. You know, but even still, like player, like even even a Serbian, to, even a Serbian that. guy, like yeah. Jokic. Jokic is the MVP right now. He is arguably a top fifteen player, top mm-hmm. ten player in the league. Arguably, yeah. yeah. And the like, difference is that like it's always been, um, like like you said, like baseball. It's always just been whiter and just more like old school. You know, yeah. like basketball was something that was always like adopted by the younger people early. Like, you had Allen Iverson changing fashion and everything in the NBA. You had little fucking, like, you had Melo getting white kids in other countries, like Porzingis, to have braids. You know what I mean? That picture with the white kid at the Sixers game with full the AI. Mellow with the tattoos drawn nah, on. Nah, the full uh, I, 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 AI. I, 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 with the, the, the bigger yeah, thing the, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Iconic. Yeah. I wonder where you that kid I mean? is in life right now. Yeah, I wonder where he's <laughs> in life, too. Probably played D3 basketball. <laughs> um, but like Manager. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, the kid grew up to be Birdman, actually. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Chris Anderson. <laughs> what are you talking about? That kid grew up to be Tyler Harrell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He thinks he's black. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> wow. He looked but, back at that picture. Oh, so this is why. <laughs> Bro, I was like, I saw a TikTok where this black dude was like, yo, I'm in Target. And it was these two white kids, and one of them got on a do rag, and the other kid was going there to buy a do rag. And he's like, <laughs> "What the fuck is this?" Um, <laughs> anyway, like baseball is always the last to adopt, and then you get shit like the fucking Yankees, who are the biggest franchise in the sport, who still don't have an alternate jersey, and motherfuckers can't have beards, bro. Like, and this is the thing is that I think baseball Things gonna happen when Steinbrenner dies. Someone is but, younger. No, is gonna... what are you talking about? The, the family Steinbrenner already dead. The big boss has been dead. George is dead. George so is dead. How? How? But how is the family how is, is gonna keep? There's gonna, the Steinbrenners the are gonna next, keep going. You gotta hope that there's one young kid who gets born who's like, "Fuck this shit." Like well, it's it's a some po- Fortnite era kid. That's, that's gonna <laughs> be that's era gonna era be the nigga who they're not gonna give the Yankees <laughs> exactly. to. Literally, that's the problem. But you gotta the hope family. that there's only he's the only one. 
They'll you know sell I mean? it before. He's the, <laughs> they'll sell it as crazy. <laughs> Please, you know those kids are always sell spoiled. Sell it to the ones. Yeah, yeah, right? Oh they'll my sell it to the God. Dolans. <laughs> Nah, just, I can only imagine. If James Dolan bought the bought the Yankees. I might. I, have I quit. To stop. Nah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm might, becoming a Padres fan. I don't care. <laughs> it's Padres, Angels. Nah. I yeah, don't I might know. go full Angels. <laughs> like, nah, it's a, it's amazing because I think baseball really does realize they have a problem, which is why I think they're trying to do so much fan engagement now. Mm-hmm. And I think that baseball, With their shitty All Star jerseys. Well, their shitty. Well, their All Star jerseys is terrible, but the City Connect jerseys weren't. I tell you that yeah. them shits weren't like literally like the the White Sox City Connect jerseys. Those was like the hardest baseball alternate that I've seen in like forever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But like at the same time, it's like niggas like Tatis, niggas like Vlad Jr. Them niggas are just so good at the game they market themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like aside from the fact of baseball having to having to market these niggas, like Fernando Tatis will probably have more endorsements in a year than than Mike Trout probably ever will, and that's just because. You can see it on the on the field, like he like he he has a personality, yeah. like you see it in interviews. He and has more than the the baseball aspect. Why do you think Mike Trout hasn't been on the cover? He hasn't. Actually, he, he may have had to. Has he? he I don't know. Look it up. I don't. I've never. I don't, I don't remember. Even though like Xbox just got MLB the show, I've always kept tabs on the MLB game. So if he has, cool. But like Tatis really got this, and it's been like a whole like thing, right? Honestly, the only endorsement I can think of with Mike Trout in it yeah, was he Subway. Was on 16. He was on 16? Yeah. All right. But outside of Subway, can you name any other endorsement? He was on it two, twice? I stand corrected. I'm sorry, Mike Trout. No, but, but still, like, that was a boring, that was a probably two, two of the worst yeah. games probably. And and to me, it's <laughs> like, that's what it is. It's like, there's a lot more to being a star than just being good at the sport. In baseball especially. Yeah. Because the sport like, kind of boring. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's even... It's, it's 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 fucking tough. Like even Degrom, Degrom is as de- dominant as he is on the mound. Like, what, what's the- marketable about him? Like outside yeah. of New York, if can he was you out here talking shit after strikeouts and shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, That's why it's so much. As unfortunate as it is, Trevor Bauer is way. I mean, he's he's, more, he's in he's, trouble well, right now. Well, yeah. But Obviously, he's yeah. he's more mar- He's made himself more yeah. marketable because he talks trash and he does all this other stuff and he's engaging with people well, on Twitter. It, uh, Dallas Keuchel as well, I believe. Um, I feel like it was him. Big ass beard was that mm-hmm. award shows in a fucking wetsuit that looked like yeah. a tuxedo that like was, shit like that, that. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you make yourself you make yourself marketable, you make yourself a household name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's like Mike Trout just plays baseball. Yeah. And like, it just just happens to be pretty but, fucking good. Like who are it. the best pitchers in the league right now, right? You say Cole DeGrom, Scherzer, right? Cole DeGrom, Scherzer. Um, Scherzer's marketability is he has two different color eyes. And that's it. And like even then it's like, why are we and not capitalizing? Why are we not capitalizing on this? He has he literally has two different color eyes. I mean, I know it's a medical condition, but like still. It's not a condition. <laughs> what? Um, it's just something important. <laughs> condition makes it seem like it's there's something wrong with him. Well, you know, yeah. no, but it's not I don't want to say normal, but like <laughs> <laughs> I wish I I'm gonna be honest, I wish I had two co- different colored eyes. That should be so that should be fire. Um but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what about Garrett Cole is not marketable. What what's marketable no. about this guy? Nothing. He's just a big dweeb that just can throw ninety nine miles an hour. Yeah, and then it took him a, like what, a month and a half to get good after losing sticky stuff. Like Listen, Strasburg, man. when he at his peak of him, though. was great, but he wasn't marketable. Right? Bum garnered Definitely. I mean, who's the last? Was funny. Who's the last marketable pitcher? Pedro Martinez. That's maybe? what I was Pedro. gonna say. That's <laughs> a, and the and the reason it was like it's the reason why there's Dominican Red Sox fans in fucking New York. Yeah, like, because the Red Sox are the first people to have big ass Dominican people on. Like, it. dang. Yeah. And the wild thing is baseball, especially like for Stephen A to make the comment in regards to baseball, where it's like been so accepted. Obviously, it's a little bit different with Otani being Japanese, but like if you want to have a job in baseball, like almost every in every aspect of it, you need to. No Spanish. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Like, yeah, so you it's like have English to. basically isn't even baseball's first language. Yeah, you know, especially now. I mean, it's more popular in Latin America. I mean, well, you go to Latin American countries. This is the more popular sport. It's the most popular sport there. This is exactly why USB That's getting soccer. their butts kicked sometimes in uh, those those World Baseball Classics. Oh, the World Baseball Classic. <laughs> well, well, oh, well, Latin what? in Latin American countries though. You think you think baseball? You think soccer is more popular in There's Latin American full countries? Full on leagues in every yeah. country, absolutely. There's I'd, more I'd full say, on leagues in every country too. Nah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably put soccer. Put soccer. Bro. Baseball's the up there. Game. Soccer, in Latin soccer America, is the, so Latin America. hold on, yes, hold on, hold on. Latin America. What's the countries? Latin so, countries? Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba. That there's that's not the only Latin America. What well, what else is considered Latin America? And then even in those, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, probably. I'm be honest. I don't. I'm not good at geography, so. 
What would you? All right. So then, what would you? What consi- is Latin America? Yeah. So then we're just gonna have to. Cons- this is what we. Consider. I just, that's what I would consider I just Latin the, America. I, I just. I just thought those niggas were just Caribbean. I just. Yeah, that's I, more than Caribbean. But Latin America. I just. Is I just thought the, it, is the Caribbean in all of South America. Oh, it, oh, it's all oh, of South America. It, yeah. Oh, I didn't so know. So if you're combining it all, oh, well, and Central it America, all, okay. Too? So if it's no. all the South. Uh, wait, so what's Central America? Central America. Central America is just Central America, but but South America is Latin America. Yeah. That don't make no sense. That's why there's a difference between Hispanic and Latin. I can't tell you the difference right now, but there is a difference. I always thought being the Hispanic, Hispanic was because of the, the roots of, of Hispaniola tracing back to Spain. Latin America. I just looked up Latin America and Yeah. It's literally all yeah. it's literally all Central America. So, oh I didn't realize it was just it was including South America. If, if, if I you, knew it was South America. I didn't think it included well, Central yeah, America. If you, uh, it, yeah, no, Central America. Well, like, yeah, Central America makes sense because Costa Rica is in Central America. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting a geography lesson so, today, so, guys. So the DR and Puerto Rico and like Haiti, that is what now? Latin America? Technically. But well, it's all, we look at that as Caribbean. Okay. So culture. I would say in those specific countries, baseball over soccer, but is as a whole. Well, in South America, of course, soccer is over yeah, baseball. That's what, yeah. As a baseball whole, is still fairly popular, though. But I would say, especially yeah. in the but not as But not yeah. as popular as, in, as football. Yeah. But <laughs> yes. I'd say it's more of like a Western, yeah, yeah Western Hemisphere Western. thing. Yeah. Aside yeah. from uh, Asia. Japan, yeah, yeah, aside from Asia. Yeah. Because, I mean, that is the world, baseball, the world baseball. The world baseball classic doesn't have European countries. I was about to think say, about this. They, do, they be doing, the cr- Asia, it's they be doing cricket. Japan, may, I don't even think China. I literally think it's just Korea and Japan. Nah, China definitely has one. Well, China has a team and everything. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Xander Bogarts because he's from Curacao. Which he's is from Aruba. Aruba. Oh, no, Aruba. 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 I didn't yes. know that. Until, he speaks like mad languages. Yo. I didn't know that until I traded for him in the show. Yes. He's from Aruba. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts is just. He looked like, Dominican as hell. They were like, Aruba. I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. Learn something new that nigga is That nigga is a mixed bag. Oh, Fuck yeah. it. Uh, Gangsta, gotta love it. But yeah, end of story. Shohei Tani face a baseball mm-hmm. when he and he's gonna. Be, I have no doubts in my mind he will be on the cover of MLB uh, MLB the Show twenty twenty two. And then if he's yeah. not, then then y'all are bugging. That's just it's just. I, say the, only, I say the only way he's not is if Vlad wins the MVP. Yeah, that's the only way he's not. Nah, there's because, no, there's, the only, because yeah. they just did Tatis. The only way Hotani isn't is if Vlad wins MVP. Then they do Vlad, and then the next year they do Hotani. Because all three of them are gonna have to be on it. Baseball is so amazing in that sense because you really can be on a whack team like the Angels. Well, the Blue Jays, the Blue Jays might make the playoffs, but like they're not like by any means going to catch the Red Sox, and they both can win MVP. It's just amazing. Like baseball is really the only sport that's like that. Baseball, baseball, baseball is baseball is weird. Baseball is it's a beautiful sport, not run by beautiful people. There you go. In, nice. Inside, inside and out. Nice, nice. Mark that. <laughs> Well, Actually, Matt, if you do mark it, I'll be uh, much appreciated. Because that's that was a fantastic thing I just said. Oh, okay. Very okay. smart thing sure by a right. smart person. All right, Justin. But the fuck ever. Wow, I think that's it, though. I, I think so, right? Too. I yeah. mean, I mean, it, all right. I guess we have to touch on the finals. Um, right now, oh, uh, as we record, <laughs> do we uh, have to? I, game I, four is currently going on. Um. We definitely. I, I. The thing about it is, I kind of. I feel like we all agree that not much has changed from what we were talking about the finals last week to now. Um, so go listen to that if you haven't. What is it? Two games happened but, though in that span, right? Uh, yeah, two games happened. Yeah, and it literally feels like I'm saying the same thing. I still stand by Suns and six. Uh, the Bucks have started every series down, um, and still have made it this far. Yep. Drew Holiday is the key to the Bucks. I didn't start the the first series. They they swept Miami. They did. All right, so that's the only one. Well, so it's not every series. So that the every other so so every series after that every series after that down 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 down. Red teams going down. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, Drew Holiday's the the key to the Bucks. What the Suns has just got to keep doing what they're doing. Sarge being hurt is you know that's something that definitely makes things more difficult going on. Yes. Is how much more minutes Frank Kaminsky is going to get. Um, you guys really got anything else to add? Um, Giannis is doing what he needs I to. Have zero. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna say. I, I was literally gonna say say that that Giannis has actually been putting in work. Yeah, if and they I, lose, you cannot blame Giannis. Yep. And after tonight, it's gonna be two two. That's tonight being uh, Tuesday the fourteenth. All right. I just want to see the score when it comes back to see because I know that they started. Oh, uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, at the game with the Dave Chappelle mask. I love it. And Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker? Bro, where is fucking um? And A Rod, F- shout out uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for being on Dave. <laughs> it was lit. 
Oh, yeah, I saw that episode. That was funny. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, four-point game. I do expect the Bucks to win, though. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I have not paid it. I didn't watch any of game three, not mm-hmm. by my own accord. It's just I was busy doing stuff. And then game two, I only saw – I was, like, briefly watching that. So – Hey man, the the role players are, have been showing out. Bobby Portis has been playing great in the minutes, and Next then you, you got to think at this point he's gonna um, have to get more minutes because of uh, Brook Lopez's defensive inadequacies. <laughs> yeah, um, very well said, because Brook's playing great offensively. You know yeah. he's doing what he needs he to. He's barbecue it, chicken out there. But it's exactly. just, and, it, and honestly, I don't even think it's his fault. It's, it's just, just the switching. It's just the lineup. You're playing man. two. You're playing against two guys whose bread and butter is the mid range, and yeah. you're playing Brook in drop coverage. What the hell else yeah. is he supposed to do? Mike Budenholzer still is not adjusting well. Um, and then, and then you got fucking homies who's been balling out this entire time, Cam Johnson. Like that, to me, that's been the the Suns' biggest key of how well the season's gone in general. Is what they've been getting from Cam Johnson. Johnson, and even in the loss, yep. played phenomenal. Had a poster. Um, yeah, that was a body. That was a body bag. Yeah. Yo, poor know? PJ. Son PJ nah, wanted to charge him. like a real old head. Nah, yeah. Screw PJ. Okay. He's out here beating up KD. Yeah, future net PJ Tucker. Yeah, sure. <laughs> A lot of future Nets next year. Y'all future. gonna have yeah. So next year y'all gonna have PJ Tucker. Y'all gonna have Melo. You know who else we gonna have? We're gonna have Nerlens Noel. Nerlens. No, yeah. I'll, I'll give nah, you Porzingis. Nah, 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 nah. We need. Hey, look, like, I'm, hey, look, I'm just saying for Dinwiddie signing trade. No, I'm just saying this, right? I went on uh, Brooklyn Nets podcast, Brooklyn Buzz, hosted by Jack. How was it? How was it? It was great. Hosted by Jack Manuel and Nick Frey. Good guys. Jack is Australian, so it was kind of cool being on a podcast with an, a legit Australian dude. Um... But I mentioned right at the end of the pod, another guy that I want the net, the Nets to go after in free agency would be Nerlens Noel because one, we don't have no cash, and two, Nerlens is only well, you only made four million this year. Yeah, it's not like he's going to be looking for a bag. He's so a great defensive player for, for not a bag, but he's athletic, definitely going to want to get more athletic rim protector. Hey, yep, look, man, that nigga is made of glass though. But he he now you know what he's made of. Uh, of of silly putty, cause that nigga, cause that nigga, he'll like fucking silly putty. Yeah, he's made a silly putty, bro. Because he's a nigga that like, yo, he falls and you think he's hurt, and then he's like, all right, like I'm back in next quarter. That will happen. And like then he'll like get hurt going down the stairs, right, or some shit. You know, also when he runs, he sounds like Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> yes, Matt. There Sign you go. Trade Tim Hardaway Jr. for Spencer Dinwiddie. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Wonderful. I told you. I t- John already told you what the signing trade with the Mavericks is going to be. Well, then I hope you enjoy mediocrity and not going to the finals next year. Anyway, that's Shit, it. You for, might uh, not either. Nigga, who's stopping us? The only thing that can stop us is injuries. Yourself. The only thing exactly. that can stop us is injuries. Damn, times like this, I wish I had the Knicks button. I'd be like, I know what's stopping y'all. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Well, that's, uh, that's true, because Knicks going to have Dame, so it's so it's You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Atlantic God, Division stacked. The Knicks had... Honestly, I... I mean, I plan on getting a Dame jersey anyway, but especially if he goes to the fucking Knicks, bro. Yeah. I Jesus. would not be getting a Dame jersey if that if that counts for anything. First day, first but day, first, first day, day out. I'm getting Dame. A or, day. First or day out. Hey, <laughs> even if he ends up on the six, Giannis, you know, I, I see I'm you. Probably get that jersey. Man, look. All right, so I think that's it. Yep, that's it for sports. Um, look at that. Already done. Now it's time for the ABCs. I have some things to say. I have some things to get off my chest. And that is it for us this week. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Saratobi Sports. Go like the Facebook page. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Offended Narwhal. Guys. Yo, big facts. Yo, enjoy the rest of the finals. Enjoy the Olympics. Enjoy, you know, the second half of the baseball season, except if you're a Yankees fan. Um... Yeah, outside is open. If you're not oh, vaccinated, trade please. for another power hitter. Oh, wonderful! Um, if you're not vaccinated, wear a mask. Uh, pray Don't for Cuba vaccinated. and Black Lives Matter. Nematodes are people too. That's all I got for you today. Nice. Catch y'all next week. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice.